So when you're starting off in business, you have lots of failures. Let me tell you, nobody goes through, even if you educate yourself and even if you do all these stuff, you just make tons of mistakes going out. Mistakes when it comes to hiring people, your first couple of hires, you think that they're nice because they tell you that they're going to do their job. And then you find out they're just not doing their job, but you don't have any metrics to hold them to. You don't understand like, you know, what did I actually ask for them? I just thought that they were nice and they would just do their job, but they're not doing it. And then you're kind of, you learn, right? And then you get educated. You don't make the mistake, the same, the same mistake the next time, you know, you know, I had a pay, I had a uh, employee at the front desk who decided that she was going to open the paychecks of other people to see how much they were making. Oh, that's brutal. Right. So now you got to let go of that person automatically, because if that's their mentality, that's not going to work. But then she caused so many other problems that then she would go to the other employee and say, well, this is how much you're making. So that person gets upset. Mm. You, you realize that this is not the type of like, uh, you know, type of people that you want in your business, and they're just causing problems. And this is going to be more of a problem in the future. Right. Yeah. And of course, they're the loudest to leave, too. For sure. And I think that's one of the issues today from what I'm hearing from other business owners is people seem to be rushing in to just hire people and plug them in when in reality, um, maybe they should be more patient and sit back and say, this is the right person for this job. I trust yeah. them because uh, like you said, I mean, one bad employee can really corrupt the whole thing for everyone. Yeah. And what what most businesses do, you know, um, is they hire when they need somebody as yeah. opposed to always interviewing. You're always interviewing. So if somebody, so something doesn't work out, you have, you have a go-to. Okay, well, I just interviewed this person. That was the takeaway. Like always be hiring or always be interviewing, right? For different positions. Even if you don't need somebody right now, because you don't want an employee holding that over you. Well, yeah. you know, I'm the only person you got, you know, and that's how I felt. And every time I would interview when I needed somebody, I needed them right away. So it's almost like in the interview process, when you're interviewing them, you want them to like, you're giving them the answers that you want to hear just because yeah. you need somebody so badly. That's what was happening in the early stages. You know, yeah. you're like telling them, well, this is what this is. It's almost like, this is the answer. Say this and I'll hire you. <laughs> yeah. You know? they, it's a, because they you're have hiring out of desperation. You're yeah. literally hiring out of desperation and that's not a great thing. So yeah. that was definitely a takeaway point, you know? So so I'm curious, yeah. you talk about always be um, interviewing. Do you do you have like a little notebook that you carry around when you meet someone randomly? Like, oh, I'm taking a note. I really appreciated them the way they did this. I'm going to keep this if I need this in a year from now. Do you do that? Do you take notes on people? I would take notes on people when I, after I uh, interview them in a, re in a resume, I had folders that this was a good person. This was a good person. I would even tell them that I might not have something for you right this minute, but you know, I liked our interview process and mm. I'll keep your information. Should something come up, would you be okay with that? And yeah, people would, uh, some people would say, no, I need something now. And some people would say, okay. I mean, this goes to you literally going to a restaurant, interacting with a waitress that you're like, this person was a really nice waitress. Yeah. And you're like, here's my card. You know what? I might have this position in the future, would you be interested in at least talking to me? You know? Yeah. And yeah, sometimes they, they were like, yeah, I wanted to do this. You know, I wanted to get out of this or something like that. Just if you see somebody who's literally has a good communication skill, which sometimes it's so lost, like people don't even look yeah. at you in your eyes. They're not greeting mm -hmm. you. They're not. And you see that in somebody and you're like, wow, this person could be great for this.